Welcome everyone to your weekly energy update where we're looking at the week of October 2nd through October 9th. This week we have a lot going on in the planets. October 2nd, we actually have Mercury leaving its full retrograde and going into its post shadow. So yay! Uh, it'll be in the post shadow all the way until October 18th when it goes direct. And it is a period of reviewing. Now last week's energy update, we did already talk about the Mercury retrograde and this post shadow period that's starting to come up so if you want to find out what you learned around communication during this last mercury retrograde check out last week's video because it is going to give you information that'll last through october 18th we also have october 8th this week Pluto is joining the post shadow parade and that is a planet of like grow or die it's the death the rebirth and it's the energy of transformation like the phoenix that's rising from the ashes that's the main energy we're going to look at for this week although we also have the next day on october 9th is going to be a full moon in aries but we'll cover more of that in next week's energy update since that will be from october 9th through the following sunday as well so because we're going to be looking at the pluto post shadow energy you know Pluto retrograde was a time to reflect on what ended, uh, what burnt down, and now we're starting to make our way up and out of those ashes. And so for this reading, we're going to ask, what does the spirit realm want us to know about our rebirth? What's this new creation that we've become? So of course, we have readings for each individual zodiac sign, and we're going to jump into yours right now. All right, Libras, this is your weekly energy update, and we're going to start off here by pulling a card from the Messenger Oracle. Any of the cards I use in a reading, I do list in the description box below, so if any of them catch your fancy and you want them for yourself, you know where you can pick those up. So we'll start off here seeing what Creator and Spirit would like you to know about this rebirth, this new creation that you are. Let's see how this Pluto energy when that retrograde impacted your life so all you libras what would you like them to know please all our libras what would you like our libras to know whoa okay <laughs> here we go you got embrace spirit powerful powerful card here it almost looks like a phoenix says it's on almost looks like it's on fire so put this down here and let's see what embrace spirit wants you to know It says you are a spiritual being living a physical life. Embrace spirit in your journey and reaffirm your connection with the divine. Fly to the heavens, but remember to look down and see that the divine exists in the magical, natural world beneath you. Spirit dwells within all, in everything you see and know, and everything that you do not see and which is unknown. Both the creative and the destructive, the beautiful and the ugly, are born of the divine. So seeing spirit in everything, really feel like this Pluto energy allowed you to see a lot of this life that, you know, all these are characters, all this stuff is props in this, what we see with our physical eyes. And behind everything is a powerful, supernatural, eternal spirit being that's made of unconditional love, the big actor behind the character that we see both for ourselves and for others so i feel like you had a big aha around this during this time we also will pull from the earth magic which this all talked about the magical earth <laughs> but we'll see what else they'd like to add here okay one more All right, so for our Libras, what else would you like them to know about this spiritual side embracing it? Okay, they do want this one right here. And you got the summer solstice radiance, beautiful, beautiful energy. Yeah, definitely 
fiery type of spiritual energy coming in here like i said this seemed and felt like it was on fire and here you go you got the sun even popping up so let's see what the summer solstice has for you here and it says the word solstice originates from the latin word solst uh, solst or something like that I don't speak Latin. If you do, then you can uh, correct me in your mind. And it says, which means stationary or stopped. That's the stiti. And then sun is sol, S-O-L. This is because twice during the solar year, the sun appears to rise and set in the same place for several days. It seems to be taking as a much needed rest before making the next circuit around the sky from one solstice to the next. Its ceaseless, predictable certainty having existed since before the time of our ancestors. There are stories in many cultures that personify the sun as a deity, either male or female, often riding the sun across the sky in a boat or a chariot. With the summer solstice comes the culmination of the sun's travels and have led to the longest days of the year. The light is now at its fullest and has provided its own brand of nourishment to the land and all its inhabitants. Celebrations and ceremonies abound. Passion and playfulness are themes. We feel an innate desire to be outdoors in the natural world and reap the benefits of the longest days of the year. We instinctually seek the light and during the cycle, there's an abundance of it, right? So seeking the light, embracing the spirit, right? And it says, let the radiance of the sun inspire your inner radiance to shine forth. Release your concerns about what may happen in the future and focus on appreciating everything you have that is good and right. Allow Father Son to take away your worries and your cares. Do something physically active to stimulate your inner light. Dance, sing, but most important, get outdoors. Do not let any negative thoughts or habits stop you. When you are in love with life, you naturally radiate that love. During this part of your cycle, your capacity to love is greatly amplified. In one of those supreme ironies of life, the more love you give, the more returns to you. It starts by allowing the radiant being you truly are to be expressed into the world. Smile a little more. Notice the beauty of nature. See the humor and the paradoxes of life. Show your love, especially to those whom you are closest. Then smile even more and watch how the world around you lights up. Yeah. So embrace the spirit. Embrace the radiance of who you are. You this powerful supernatural being. Allow it to fill you up and allow yourself to shine this bright light, right? We also are going to use the runic tarot here. And let's see what else they want to add into this for you. So it really feels like you learned a lot about your power and your connection to spirit during this Pluto uh, retrograde. And in the shadow, you're really reflecting on it quite a bit. So for our Libras, what else would you like them to know, please? Okay. Do you want one, two, three, four, and five? Boom, all at once. So we'll start down here with this one. And you have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, so swords are your thoughts, your beliefs, your mindsets, your attitudes, your expectations, kind of your opinion of how life should be. And you realize during this time that it was your personal thoughts and your beliefs, those opinions you took on as you were growing up that were keeping you feeling limited and small. The human character, you know, that experience we're having and you realized the eight is about movement up in your thoughts and your beliefs. So you really did see a difference in the power of who, who you are. Instead of feeling small and limited, you were feeling and discovering more and more about your limitlessness and then just how grand you really are. I mean, you're like a giant sun in the sky. You're not a little, you know, 
uh, spark here in a little campfire ember that's burning out. You are this huge, beautiful, bright light full of power. Let's see what else you have here too. Yeah, another eight. So this is the big eight, the eight of the major arcana, which is the strength card. And this is so perfect with what we were talking about because the story of the strength card is like, this is your human character, the animal. This is your higher self. They usually would have like an infinity symbol on them in the standard tarot. And so your human side is the human experience that you were coming down to experience and go through. and. Um, your higher self, you're not, we kind of veil ourselves from the human side where we don't remember our higher self, but of course our higher self is always aware of our little polar bear self in this case. And our polar bear is taught to look outside of itself, all these expectations, these things out here are going to make you feel full and take away your thirst. And we go and go, okay, like all of us are told, and we all go out there and we eat and drink of the outside world. And it's not fulfilling. In fact, it probably makes us even more hungry and even more thirsty. And then we're desperate. We start roaring in our jungle or whatever environment that we're in. Uh, because of that desperation, we're hangry, we're hungry, angry. Uh, and our higher self, of course, recognizes us sending out this giant cry for help, and it comes to us. And it doesn't come down to kill off our human side. It doesn't try to cage us to protect other people from us, and it doesn't uh, use like a whip in a chair like they do in circuses and stuff to try to manipulate and control us because our higher self knows that our human self, what it's hungry for is the unconditional love of the higher realm. And it's so convenient that our higher self is a being made of that unconditional love. So it comes down and look at the love that it, it's giving it. And so this polar bear, our human side that was so hangry and roaring, it transforms into a purring, you know, or loving little cub of whatever animal it is sitting in the lap of our higher self, feeling full our, quen our thirst quenched, right? And uh, feeling the love that we've been searching for all along. And I, I love that our higher self isn't like Superman that comes down, rescues us, and then flies off. Now that our human self, our polar bear, is aware of our higher self, it will never be, uh, can't forget it. It can't unsee that and unexperience it. So it'll walk hand in paw together for the rest of this human experience. And uh, so you definitely have these two eights and this awareness that's coming in of your power. And that's where you're finding it through that experience. And then you have the king of pentacles. Yes, pentacles is your outside world. King of Pentacles is the highest of the Pentacles suit you can get, of course. And so he brings a lot of wisdom, a lot of uh, information, a lot of um, experiences because he's gone through all the Pentacles suit. And one of the big ones he learns is basically what this polar bear went through, where when he looked for his abundance, when he looked for the definition of who he was in the outside world, his worth felt unstable because three areas that we look are relationships, situations, and things. And of course, all of those areas are unstable because relationships, people change or they pass away so that our re human relationships are unstable. Situations like our job, our education, our social status, all that kind of stuff. Situations never stay the same, of course, so that's unstable. And then things like our bodies, our possessions, our bank accounts, all of that breaks down, it deteriorates, it's stolen, it burns down. So all of it's unstable. And when we define ourselves by it, then we feel unstable. But when we look inside and we find this connection to source, we discover that power within our hearts, then that becomes the foundation of who we are and the foundation of our worth with it being eternal, and it being unconditional, meaning not even one condition for it. Uh, so there's nothing we have to do to try to earn it, nothing we can do to lose it. So that becomes the solid, stable, eternal foundation of our worth from within. This is where this power is coming from. So you learned a lot of this during this Pluto retrograde.
Yeah, because here's the Ace of Cups, the unconditional love. It's the chalice. It's the Holy Grail. So this is what you connected with within your heart is that unconditional love from above. So they are definitely confirming that here. This was the power of your source. This is what you're discovering more and more and more. And you're allowing yourself to fill up like that chalice. Everyone else gets this overflow that comes flying out of there. Yep, and then you have the eight of wands, another eight, 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 and eight. So very much move you we're moving up during this split retrograde and you will continue to move up during the post shadow where you are receiving buku messages from the spirit world uh, from up above which makes sense with everything that we we're talking about here um, and it also means a ton of energy moving towards you as well so all the energy that you're investing in trying to please the world and all this activity of trying to get your thirst quenched and your stomach full by the outside things you don't need it anymore so all that energy that you're investing in doing that pursuit comes back to you as well so i love that um, you'll definitely be getting tons of messages from the spirit world during this post shadow period in pluto so keep your eyes open and your ears peeled <laughs> i know we listen and we don't listen with our our eyes or <laughs> see with our ears but we can it's how powerful we are all right, and then we're going to pull a card here from the Art of Manifestation Oracle and see what else. It's the final message that Creator and Spirit have for you for this transformation that you went through, this movement up that's going on here. So for all our Libras, what else would you like them to know? What's their final message for this reading? Okay, they do want this one right here. And you have Take a Risk. Card number 53, which you add five and three together, you get eight again. <laughs> and it says step out of your comfort zone, right? Feeling safe and secure is a wonderful experience, but if we remain in our safe zone for fear of change, we create a limiting and restrictive environment that can ultimately lead to stagnation and the loss of our creative potential to manifest our greatest contribution to the world. Let go of fear and take a risk. Yeah. So they're definitely telling you to step out from beyond all these restrictions and all these old beliefs, really continue to grasp onto the power of who you are and make this um, progression forward and just come out of that shell, come out of that cocoon, this transformed, beautiful new creation, because you've been doing all of this work. All the eights are the eight of pentacles especially but all of them are about you've done the work you put in the effort you're ready to move to the next level so they're saying do it do it do it because you are ready for it definitely so i do love this for yo yo libras if you are looking for more messages of love from above in addition to these weekly energy updates i also put out monthly readings for each individual zodiac sign and a few other types of videos throughout the month so if you don't want to miss out on any of those and get a notification when the videos are immediately available to you if you give this video a little thumbs up by clicking the like button also clicking the subscribe button will give you access to the notification bell and when you go in there there's an all setting and you click on that then you will be notified of any of the new videos that come out of my channel also doing those things it helps spread the zen love and it does help my channel grow in significant ways because when you like or share one of my videos if you comment on one of my videos and um, also if you of course subscribe to my channel doing those things makes the youtube algorithm so excited it does want to automatically share my videos with other people as well so if you feel inspired to do any of that please know i am very grateful also, these are general readings, and if you're looking for even more specific information and answers for your specific life, I do offer personal readings, and my uh, recorded personal readings actually even have a sliding price scale, which means for each of the different types of videos that I offer, uh, you have a choice between three different price points, so you can have that flexibility to choose which one is more in alignment with your budget at the time. So if you're interested in any of that, all that information, of course, can be found in the description box below of this video. 
All right, Libras, as you go through this amazing upgrade and movement upward, please know that every second of every day of your life that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing adventure and we'll be talking very soon, I'm sure. In the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.